Hello, and welcome to The Beat, a news and talk program produced by the Center for Community Media at Worcester State University. I'm your host, Jason Clark, and today we will talk with Elizabeth Cernoya, Campus Minister at Worcester State University. Thank you so much for being here with us today, mm. Elizabeth. Thanks for having me. So how did you come to work as a minister in a university setting? It's a good question. I had been involved in my church pretty extensively. My husband was a pastor at a church, and uh, he passed away. And after he passed away, I spent some time trying to figure out what I wanted to do and realized, you know, I've always really loved working with young people, especially college age. And uh, so I found myself with Campus Ambassadors, which is a national campus ministry program. I started at Fitchburg State University. I helped plant a ministry there, and then I came down here to Worcester. Very nice. Yeah. We're, we're lucky to have you. <laughs> Thanks. And what types of programming or services does the campus ministry provide? Mm. Well, it's varied. We do a weekly big group meeting. Right now we're going through a video series. Next uh, semester we're going to be doing more of a specifically Bible series that we're going to do. But anyone's welcome to that. We do it as small groups, um, so it's really laid back. You can just uh, ask questions and talk. Generally, we run a Bible study once a week. Um, we haven't been doing that this semester just because we haven't had the people. But we also do study hours at the ministry house, which are on Wednesdays. So no talking about the Bible, just a nice, quiet, relaxing place to be with free coffee and free baked goods. Mm. Um, we're going to do that next semester as well. And then we do a lot of just kind of outreach things. We try to just support life on campus. So we took a day and we passed out student survival kits uh, in the freshman dorms, or um, we did like a fun thing that was called the Great Cookie Heist, where people could come and go through and figure out who ate the cookies. And so different things. Very nice. And our understanding is that both campus ministers are Protestant. How does the campus ministry work to accommodate other religions? That is a good question and a difficult question to answer. Um, I think at a very core level, campus ministry works well across the board. I am a person of faith, and I live my life um, out of that place. I have a, a sense that there is something more here, that there's a reason for existence and a greater purpose. And so I think anyone that had any kind of faith would probably say those same things and we'd have a common ground to meet on. I'm a Protestant minister though, so I wouldn't be able to do any kind of religious education for any other denomination or any other um, kind of religious background beyond Protestant. Now for Catholic and Protestant, we pretty much share the same Bible, we share the same God, so that one's not as hard. At Worcester State, our advisor is Catholic, and our president of our club is Catholic. So that one's not as tough, but when you start getting a little bit wider, it gets a little bit more tricky. But I think it would still be a friendly place to come to. It would still be a place where we could meet on the common level of understanding that there is some greater purpose out there. Absolutely. Yes. Very good to know how uh, inclusive the campus ministry house is. Yeah. And how is the campus ministry different from a church? Mm. Well, a church would be more connected to its sacraments. Um, we don't do that kind of stuff, so we end up sort of just talking more about the Bible. How does the Bible relate to your life? Faith, how does that relate? What kind of difference would that make if you are a person of faith? Uh, kind of big questions of life. Why are we here? What is happiness? Um, what I don't know, what are the, what's the purpose of uh, existence? So, so bigger questions than that. We don't really do a lot of talking at you. So churches, sometimes you know, you're the more passive recipient. Um, in our setting here on campus, we do a lot of discussions among ourselves. We're trying to figure out how to do life, how to do life together. The other thing that's, I think, significant on campus is we really build a community and so the students that are part of our ministry, they also, they do lunch together, they study together, they hang out together on the weekends. So they end up really being a, a really terrific group of students that like to be together. Nice. So. That, that sounds like a, a very, uh, very well welcoming community. It is. Yeah, it really is. What are some of the reasons that a student or faculty member would visit the ministry for pastoral counseling? 
So that could vary too. I mean, it could any be anything from stress. It could be uh, a crisis, if you had some kind of crisis in your life. Um, big questions that you have. I think that sometimes when you're in college, you're facing so many questions. What do you want to do with your future? Uh, what difference does it make if you do this or if you do that? What, what does it mean to really be a human and to have purpose in your life? So I think all of those are good questions to sit down with somebody and, and talk through. I think sometimes you can hit hard times. There can be a loss, a significant loss in your life, a friend or a family member. And it's really good to talk to somebody that has faith kind of work out those bigger life questions in that regard too. I think also there's a lot of people that come to college with some amount of faith already and they want to understand how does that or doesn't that work into the rest of my life. Sometimes they walk away from their childhood with some specific questions that they need to work out. Um, so I think there's a, a variety of different reasons that somebody might want to sit down with somebody uh, in the ministry and talk to them. It's very good to know that should people have a need for that, that it's there and you mm -hmm. guys are supportive and compassionate. Yeah, sometimes just a listening ear too. Absolutely. Can you tell our viewers something they might not know about the campus ministry? <laughs> hmm, something they might not know. I thought about this a lot. I'm not sure. Um, we make really good baked goods on Wednesday, so they might not know that. And there's free hot chocolate, free coffee at the ministry house. Um, and it's also a really good community. I think especially for students who really haven't found a group of friends they want to hang out with. This group of students right now that we've got around us, they're just really non-judgmental, really fun, really accepting and welcoming. And it's really a great place to find connection sounds like my type of people <laughs> and finally where is the campus ministry house located now it's pretty easy to find it's right behind Dowden it's a little white house and it has a big sign on it that says campus ministry there's not always people there so Wednesdays from 3 to 9 we do the study hours and so it's open at that point okay. a lot of times you'll just see people from campus ministry around um, we're in the student center most of the time, sometimes in the library. Um, yeah, and we have posters up for different events that are going on as well. Very nice. Thank you for watching this segment of The Beat. Please remember to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at MediaWSU. See you next time.